Hey everybody, welcome back to Art by Galen. I'm Galen Eilenfeld and I've got another Photoshop quick tip for you today. Today I'm going to show you how to make a very fast perspective grid in Photoshop. Now, uh, if you're doing anything that requires a lot of technical drafting where you're drawing buildings or you're drawing a scene that requires, um, you know, heavy, heavy perspective lines, I mean, you can do it by giving yourself a horizontal line and then grabbing your line tool, picking a, picking a vanishing point, and then dragging out all of your lines individually from that vanishing point. Now the problem is, is this is tedious. Sometimes, I mean, it's hard to click the exact same point. You can see where some of the lines are actually converging before they get to the vanishing point. Um, and it's gonna take a long time. I'm gonna show you a real quick way to do this. Uh, so you can use your line tool to draw out uh, wherever you want your horizon line to be. This works for one, two, or three point perspective. Now we're gonna select our shape tool and go to polygons. If you don't see it, it's uh, it's going to be either a line, rectangle, a rounded rectangle, circle. One of these shapes here will be in your toolbar. You want to right click it and select the polygon tool. Now up on the top of your screen, you'll see uh, it'll say number or it'll say sides and inside that you want to type 99 and then click the gear and set it to star. You want this to be checked. You want to turn off smooth corners and you want to indent the sides by 99%. Now, um, what this will do with that tool is let's say we want to pick a vanishing point both here and, or, whoops, and over here. So we go back to our tool and you want to click where that point is on the horizon line and drag out. And you'll notice that gives us a 99 pointed star that's going to extend from that vanishing point. We do the same thing over here. And you can kind of, you can drag it up and down to try to make one of those lines line up perfectly with the horizon. And there you go. Now you've got a good vanishing grid that you can work with and you can start, you know, by sketching out whatever buildings or whatever you need. Uh, this can also be done with a three point perspective. Like if you have, um, let's say if we wanted to do our vanishing points off screen even, you can take one and draw it in. That's point one. Point two would come from the other side. And then the third point would come from up top. And you can use these to get those kind of extreme sort of comic book building perspectives. Um, and then, you know, from that you can build, you know, whatever you need within those guidelines. Time. I hope you enjoyed this Photoshop quick tip. If you like this video, be sure to hit that like button. If you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. Let me know that you're interested in what I'm putting out here and get notified whenever new videos come up. Thank you for taking the time to check out this video. I hope you have a great day and until next time, keep creating and take care. Thank you.